Incoming shipment from Mexico. I wonder if this is radioactive because it says X-ray on it. All right, let's make sure everything's focused in, get everything set up the way I like it, and uh, let's unbox a pair of boxing gloves. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Combat Corporation, your source of combat sports. I'm your host, El Postmaster Tomorrow. Today, I'm going to unbox one of the most popular requests on the channel over the last year. Inside of this package from Mexico is a pair of Bayonetta PUL. HH training gloves or polyurethane horsehair. Now, if you're a fan of the channel and a fan of boxing gloves in general, you know that anything made in Mexico is usually going to be a really solid puncher's glove. And on top of it, we're also talking about a horsehair style training glove, which we all know horsehair is what punchers are made out of. And in my opinion, no one makes puncher's glove better than Mexico. I wanted to get my hand on a pair of bayonetas over the last year from all your requests, but the only thing is they're out of stock a lot because they're very popular and they are what we call a Mexican boutique brand. Now, boutique brands in general that you can think of are ones that really don't make a large quantity of gloves, kind of like a lot of other gloves out there, like Winning, Reyes, Everlast, and sell them in loads. These are made in small Mexican workshops and sold maybe in bulks of 20 to 30 at most. Like a really good example of a boutique brand that was made in Mexico for a very long time that is so hard to get a hold of and that's very expensive because they're so hard to get a hold of is everyone's favorite Grant. Whenever people ask me why can't I ever find a pair, well that's why they're not made a lot. For a long time a lot of these Mexican boutique workshops really never branch out to the U.S. for whatever reason. So to make a long story short, there are a ton of Mexican brands down in Mexico that do not reach out to the US and a lot of their gloves are really of the same caliber as things like Grant, such as New Sporting here. This pair of New Sportings I actually bought like six years ago or so. And the thing is, I actually had to wire the Mexican workshop money to get these and they were selling them on their Facebook. So this shipment is actually from the Boxing Collector run by a guy named Edgar and he is super cool. Edgar is a proud Mexican boxer himself and he basically said he wants the whole world to experience high quality Mexican craftsmanship. And he really wants these small Mexican workshops to get the recognition they deserve. And thanks to the Boxing Collector, I was able to expand my collection by buying these super cool new sportings and these No Boxing No Lives, which is Canelo's brand, which is super cool. And like I said, I think back to where I literally had to wire money to a Mexican workshop to get their high quality gloves. New sportings for like 200 bucks which are basically grants instead of paying 600 bucks for a new pair of grants. Like I said, a lot of these workshops kind of make the same things in a lot of ways. So that's why Edgar decided to make his own brand, Bayonetta, and make it a little bit different. And all I can tell you, I've seen so many reviews from people like C Squared and a bunch of other people on the website. They say these are the best gloves that they've ever used. Now I paid for these gloves myself, but I will tell you, if you ever want to try high quality, true Mexican style puncher's gloves, go on the Boxing Collector, message them, and they will tell you exactly what type of glove will fit you. So without further ado, I am excited. I've been waiting for a year for these. They were finally in stock. I hit Edgar up and said, hey man, what is the best glove for me? And he told me to get the P-U-L-H-H from what I described to him. So let's go ahead and open this box. And I can't tell you how excited I am, although this is saran wrap pretty good. So I'm going to have to not caveman this for once. I like the tape on it. He's got like his own custom tape. It says the boxing collector on it. So like I said, this is super cool because it has like his own custom tape on it. You see all that? That's really cool. And it has his uh, Instagram and Facebook info on there too. Ah, there we go. The one thing I'm so excited about, I can smell the leather coming through the box already. There is no better smell on the planet, folks. New glove smell, the best, the best. I love it. Okay, let's open it up. Oh yeah. So that's what we got on the inside there. This is cool. So there was some tape stuck to this card and it ripped the corner of it off, but it says the boxing collector. Thank you for supporting Mexican workshops. And it uh, shows you their Instagram and their website. So like I said, support some Mexican workshops. If you really want to try good quality gloves, I think that that's the place to go. Oh, ho, ho. oh, oh, there's other stuff in it, but I can feel the gloves and I can feel the leather through. I get chills. I tell you, this is what I love. This is what I live for. I haven't had, I haven't bought a new pair of gloves for myself probably since the summer, like around like June or July. And I think the last new pair of gloves I probably bought for myself outside of MMA gloves that weren't severely discounted, like I'm just splurged, probably September when I got married. Oh, ho, 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 
Oh, look at this. Oh, I got some gifts. Oh, this is cool. Oh, man. Uh, Edgar, thank you. I know he said he was going to throw some stuff in there, but... Oh, these look. These are gorgeous. I, I, I'm sad to say I got to put them off to the side because I got I to gotta acknowledge the gifts. A B for Bayonetta, I would imagine, right there. It's a sticker, so I'm going to put that on my side here and then oh okay so so these are cool hand wraps and i think yeah they have like the knuckle pad here so you can wrap it on like that so they come with a knuckle guard built into it so that's really cool you got some more stickers uh the boxing collector so you got one of uh canelo and then you got one of one of my favorites of all time julio cesar chavez oh no way you gave me shirts oh man i could never have enough shirts this is nuts what it's got ipo on the back so it says the boxing collector that on the back, it has Hajime no Ippo, which is one of my favorite animes ever. Man, I'm actually re-watching um, Bleach, the uh, Thousand Year Blood War arc that just came out. Oh man. This was actually the free gift I selected, which was the boxing uh, loop converter. So that's really cool. He comes with his own loop converter. He's got, me as an MMA fighter, I prefer Velcro. There's the boxing collector right there. And then on the back, oh man, these shirts are so cool. Thank you so much, my man. I'm gonna put one on now. Yeah, not bad, right? I'm gonna go with the Epo shirt. Makes me look swole. I love it. Let's get going. Everything else is off the table. I got the super comfortable shirt on now. And now, for the moment of truth, I cannot wait for this. The plastic, I can smell the leather through the pipe. <laughs> oh my good lord. Oh yes, this is. This is excellent. As you can see, I went with the gold and silver. It's not metallic gold. It is a nice matte gold color. Right all on the back. Black thumb. Look at the nice, those are perfect welted seams. Oh my God. Then the palm is all silver, white piping, and then you got black laces. Then on the back, you can see it says Bayonetta right there. That's a boxing collector logo there, the Mexican flag. And it says a show in Mexico. 16 ounces and then the interior lining looks to be blue that is that is a special glove the laces feel really thick right off the bat wow so the laces i just undid let's see they come out really the eyelids are smooth so he did say the 16s might be a little tight but no that's a perfect fit oh and it's not rough like the grants and stuff either i don't like that harsh denim feeling this is nice and smooth on the inside it's a really nice like stretch nylon feel to it almost like satin it feels like satin it feels like a nice boxing robe and you can feel the padding just crease around your knuckles and you can hear and feel the horse hair on the inside of the glove too on the back as well wow if that's literally not the definition of fitting like a glove i don't know what it is that fits perfect for a 16 ounce glove he said it was going to be a little small for someone that has big hands but for me this fits perfect and for a puncher's glove it I can already tell it's, it's gonna protect the knuckles really well. I can't feel my knuckles like that through this. This is really nice, wow. Wow, the grip bar is nice and soft. The padding, the leather is so smooth. I mean, look how they tanned that. Look at all the grain marks on that. I'll, I'll use this one. Look at all just the natural grain, everything and how beautiful the seams are. There's not one part about this glove that looks out of place. The other thing about it, there's like zero space to yank up on the back of the wrist. It follows the contour of my arm so well. Oh man. Hey Tori, come here. Look at these. Oh, nice. The leather, the way it's like tanned and like just, you see all the welts. So this is welted seams. They like burn the edges of them and stuff. Yeah. Look how perfect that is. Awesome. And it fits so good too. <laughs> This shirt, so I put this on. Sent me this shirt, some stickers, a free pair of hand wraps. Wow. And then uh, hook and loop converters. Wow. And then it comes in a really nice bag. That's awesome. Well, all I can say to you guys is I don't know why it took me so long to get a, a, a hold of these. I should have got them the moment they were in stock. The fit and feel of the glove right off the bat, the comfortability, the flexibility. They definitely need to be broken in a little bit but they definitely have a nice broken in feel kind of already at the same time. The padding is nice. 
it's soft but firm around the knuckles which is awesome and it's can already see it just give that nice awesome puncher's crease on the inside and just look at the leather oh my god see i'm a leather freak i love all leather products whether it be wallets coats bags name it and just look at the brush they iron the leather out so perfect oh my goodness gracious stay tuned for the review i'm gonna use these for a while probably before i do the review because i really want to put these through the test um you know i can i can tell that these are going to wind up being one of my favorites i've ever tried and i definitely wish i listened to all of you a lot sooner because wow these these are uh you know you got a good pair of gloves. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching this unboxing. If you have any questions about these gloves, I'll be giving you updates right along the line. I'm probably going to post a YouTube short of me hitting the bags with these uh, by tomorrow, if not the next day. Uh, I think they look awesome. They feel amazing. And I just, I cannot wait to use these. So with that said, thank you so much for watching The Combat Corporation, your source for combat sports. Please Go check out the boxing collector. Edgar, thank you so much. Although I bought these myself, uh, you know, all the gifts that you sent uh, with, the, with the shirt, which I'm going to be rocking all over the place, um, plus the, the hand wraps and everything else. I, I so appreciate it, man. That, that was very generous and kind of you. You didn't have to do that. These gloves were more than enough. Um, and, I, and I so appreciate it all. So thank you so much, guys. I'll see you on the next episode. Have a great day.